morning students i hope you all are uh, fine today we are going to discuss about uh, a new lesson lesson number 4 electromagnetic induction and uh, alternating current what is the lesson name electromagnetic induction and alternating current actually this lesson two part one is electromagnetic induction another one is alternating current today we are going to discuss about electromagnetic induction before we going to discuss about the electromagnetic induction just we recall our previous chapter magnetic effect of electric current so magnetic effect of electric current in our previous chapter we discussed briefly and uh, detailly now uh, just to recall that what we recall means when the current goes through the current carrying conductor suppose i take one current carrying conductor see this current carrying conductor is nothing but uh, wire so ab is the current carrying conductor when current flows through the conductor see that current i flows through the conductor what happens means they produce magnetic field how do i identify they produce magnetic field means i draw that small circles so when the current flows through the current carrying conductor the magnetic field is produced around the conductor see that magnetic field represented by the magnetic field vector so when the current flowing through that where the flow means through the current carrying conductor due to the current flow through the current carrying conductor they produce magnetic field where they produce it around the conductor this experiment was carried by Christian Oster Certain year later Ampere is the other scientist he showed a simple current carrying loop suppose i take uh, one rectangular uh, loop this is the rectangular loop a b c d this behaves like a bar magnet this is the magnetic effect of electric current we are discussed in our previous chapter so if you take this idea uh, many scientists physics scientists try to explain the reverse effect of uh, electric current produced by the magnetic field so many scientists who are that uh, scientist means uh, we uh, many but uh, only uh, two scientists tried the experiment simultaneously but independently they discovered the uh, phenomena of uh, electromagnetic induction and give the definition of electromagnetic induction just uh, we'll go that uh, electromagnetic induction who is that uh, the statement was given by for michael faraday so just we recall once again magnetic effect of electric current in current carrying conductor when we are allowed to pass through the current they produce magnetic field around the conductor certain other the experiment carried by christian oster certain year later ampere showed a simple current carrying loop behaves like a bar magnet 
So take this idea. Many scientists try to give on that reverse effect. Reverse effect means if it is possible to produce electric current with the help of magnetic field. So who that carried the experiment means Faraday is the scientist name. He is carried out and uh, found the do the statement of uh, electromagnetic induction. So Faraday how to carry the experiment means to actually. We need electric current. The electric current produced with the help of magnetic field. Not only Faraday, another scientist named Henry. Faraday UK, Henry US. But the experiment was successfully carried out Faraday. So Faraday awarded the experiment in the year 1831. He gave that correct explanation of electromagnetic induction okay are you clear so electromagnetic induction statement clearly experimentally did by uh, faraday in the year 1831 before we are going to discuss about electromagnetic induction we learn the magnetic flux So already in our previous chapter we discussed electric flux. Here we discuss magnetic flux. What is a magnetic flux? Means the total number of magnetic lines of force passing through the area normal to the surface or normal to the area. Suppose I will take one bar magnet. See, this is the bar magnet. There are two poles, north and south pole, or south and north pole. We knew that when the bar magnet produces magnetic lines, so these are the magnetic lines. These magnetic lines crossing through there. Suppose I will consider a surface. The sur uh, surface, the surface of the area I remember by it, crossing through the given area. So after crossing the magnetic lines, we call the magnetic flux. Magnetic flux represents the symbol pi b. Electric flux represents by pi e. So. What is now? We will give the definition of uh, magnetic flux. The total number of magnetic lines of force So we can write the mathematical uh, definition. 
explanation pi b represent by the magnetic flux equal to the line integral of area a b vector dot da vector here b represent by the magnetic flux da represent by the air considering area so pi b magnetic flux this integral a line integral represent by the area So I'll draw the diagram. See that I'll consider the area. This is the area. The magnetic field lines passing through the area. Now we want to draw the normal that represents by the L vector, the theta. What denoted the theta means? Theta is the angle between the direction of magnetic field field and uh, the magnetic field acting inwards the area. Normally inward. Okay, so consider this is equation number one. The equation number one, I want to change it right. How then see? Pi b equal to b a cos theta. Here from this diagram, theta equal to. When we are consider theta is equal to zero degree, pi b equal to b a cos zero degree. We already studied in the mathematics and also physics cos zero value one. So pi b the magnetic flux represents by b a. Next we will see the unit of magnetic flux and. Uh, Definition of uh, unit of magnetic flux. So one second we recall. So magnetic flux means the total number of magnetic lines of force crossing through the given area normally is known as magnetic flux. Here normally means perpendicularly. That means the magnetic lines of force crossing through the given surface. How that means uh, perpendicularly. That is known as when we have to represent uh, in the mathematical expression. Pi b denoted the magnetic flux equal to integral area a b vector dot d a vector. Here b vector represents the magnetic field, d a represents the area. Where theta is the angle between the direction of the magnetic field and the area normally inward. So the magnetic flux represents by pi b equal to d a cos theta. Here theta is equal to zero degree. What is the reason theta is equal to zero degree? Means suppose you have you have to assume the area that means surface and magnetic field. The magnetic field is uniform. See the diagram. The magnetic field represents by b vector. The magnetic field lines are passing through the given surface. How that means? Normally, see, I'll draw that uh, the normal line here. That's why here theta is equal to zero degree. Diagram A, diagram B. Theta is equal to zero degree. What is the reason theta is equal to zero degree? Means because the magnetic lines of force passing through the given area normally. That's why. Theta is equal to zero degree. Now substitute that zero in the equation. So theta is equal to zero degree. Pi b equal to b a cos zero degree. We know that uh, cos zero is equal to one. So pi b equal to b a cos. Next, we will discuss unit of magnetic flux. This is very important question, problem wise and two mark level question. So unit of 
magnetic flux. So, what is the unit of magnetic flux means? Tesla meter square or Weber or we call, uh, we denoted in this Weber WB Weber What is one more question? Unit of magnetic flux is Tesla meter square or Weber The Weber sign is name that we write in the short form WB one Weber equal to one Tesla meter square. This is very important. One more question. One Weber equal to one Tesla meter square. Actually, use this uh, equation. We will solve one problem in next class. So, what is the unit of uh, magnetic flux? we call Weber or Tesla meter square got it? any doubt? please ask so what we discussed the magnetic effect of electric current and uh, electric current produced by the magnetic field and magnetic flux so now we have a clear idea about magnetic flux Next, we are going to discuss Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. So Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. What is that means? Suppose I will take a magnetic flux. That represents by pi b. We have discussed detailly just now. The magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit. What is that? Closed circuit when the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit what happen means the magnetic flux will change change the flux after linking the closed circuit next action is change the magnetic flux what happen means they produced induced EMF they produced induced EMF here EMF means electromotive force we have discussed electromotive force in our second chapter current electricity so magnetic flux flows through the closed circuit or linked through the closed circuit the magnetic flux change due to change they produce induced EMF due to induced EMF what happens means electric current what is that electric current flows through the circuit this electric current is known as induced electric current the production of induced electric current is known as or uh, the phenomenon of production of induced electric current is known as electromagnetic induction So, whenever the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit, change the magnetic flux, the particular closed circuit, what happens is they produced induced EMF. Due to the induced EMF, they flows the electric current in the particular circuit. That induced, uh, that current is known as induced current 
are induced electric current. The phenomena is known as uh, electromagnetic induction. This is the definition of electromagnetic induction. This is very important to my question. And also, nowadays we are uh, living the sophisticated electronic and electric world. No, all the maximum number of uh, we are using uh, instrument, electrical instrument based on the uh, definition of electromagnetic induction. So next, uh, we will see that the experimental verification of electromagnetic induction. What is that? The experimental verification of electromagnetic induction. I will take one coil. So this is the coil. The coil is connected by the galvanometer. Galvanometer has the two polar two ends. One is positive, another one is negative. Here yes, the galvanometer uh, the needle. See that needle and the galvanometer marked by values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. The same for in the left side 1, 2, 3. Next, I will take a bar magnet. See that this is bar magnet north and south pole. This is diagram 1. Now, what is the condition means? The bar magnet at rest. How that bar magnet? Rest position. When the bar magnet is rest, there is no magnetic lines or, or there is no magnetic flux linked to the coil or uh, closed circuit. So, there is no current flows through the circuit. So, galvanometer which shows zero deflection. What is that? Zero deflection. Next, second diagram. Same uh, coil. The coil is connected to the galvanometer. See that? Positive negative galvanometer. 0, 1, 2, 3. The first diagram, the galvanometer shows indicate zero. But second diagram, the galvanometer indicates uh, the deflection point is one. What is the reason the deflection point is the deflection needle shows what means? Now the bar magnet move towards the coil. The velocity of the bar magnet we are represented by V1. So what happened means? The magnetic line due to the moment, the magnetic lines crossing through the or magnetic flux crossing or link to the coil. Due to the magnetic flux link to the coil, according to the definition of Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, the EMF is induced due to the EMF when the electric current flows through the circuit. How to identify how much electric current flows? That's why we are using. Galvanometer. Now the galvanometer indicates one means one ampere current flows through the circuit. Now how that possible means due to in the first diagram the bar magnet is rest, but uh, the second diagram the bar magnet considered to be movement. Or motion. Where means towards the magnet coil. The deflection is uh, momentary deflection. Why momentary deflection means? Because uh, uh, the, the movement is very short, very short time. That's why it is uh, shows momentary deflection. Next, uh, diagram number three. Same coil. I will take that. 
the chiral strength has been given in the Z positive, negative and uh, galvanometer middle 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 now the bar magnet is means inside the coil north pole, south pole where is that bar magnet? in first diagram bar magnet outside but rest in the second diagram bar magnet is movement towards the magnet sorry towards the coil in third diagram the bar magnet is inside the coil how that inside the coil means have to be stationary how that stationary stationary means rest so what happened if you see the galvanometer galvanometer shows the zero deflection what deflection zero deflection so we are getting the conclusion from the three diagram whenever the magnet is rest there is no magnetic flux going to the coil so they are not producing any current if the magnet move, magnet is moved towards the coil the magnetic flux link so EMF induced due to the EMF induced they produce the current when the magnetic the magnet is inside the coil but rest or stationary that time also they show the zero deflection that means uh, the magnet does not produce any uh, magnetic flux so always relative motion between the magnet R and the coil is there only the magnetic flux linked with the coil just uh, we have to uh, see another experiment how that another experiment means see that first day yeah, your north pole move towards the coil next we will see that south pole move towards the coil what is the effect you will see that so first diagram once again I will take in a coil coil is connected to the galvanometer as to negative See? galvanometer the galvanometer needle 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 the bar magnet south pole facing the coil here north pole facing the coil but here south pole facing the coil what is the position of the magnet means the position of the magnet is rest how that the position of the magnet is rest if you see the galvanometer galvanometer shows zero deflection what is that zero deflection next second diagram same coil coil is connected to the galvanometer Pass to negative and uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. What is the position of the bar magnet? Means the position of the bar magnet is motion or move towards the coil. What pole? South pole move towards the coil. We can represent V2. Here V1. So our convenience we can represent V2. So move towards the coil means the magnetic flux linked with the coil. Due to the magnetic flux linked with the coil, changes in the closed circuit they produce induced EMF. Due to the induced EMF, they converted into induced current. How much induced current is flows in the circuit? We can identify using the galvanometer. See that first diagram zero deflection, second diagram the deflection needle shows indicating one. So one ampere current flows through the circuit. Next diagram number three. I'll take a coil. The coil is connected to the given galvanometer. The galvanometer needle. 
how that means the magnet is inside the coil so south pole and north pole we can uh, identify that uh, diagrams so what is that uh, question of the magnet means stationary stationary means there is no movement so there is no movement means there is not producing any magnetic uh, lines so galvanometer shows us here zero deflection from the six diagrams what we have to uh, study means whenever there is a relative motion between the magnet and the coil in uh, both cases there is certain momentary deflection in the galvanometer that means uh, the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit they produce induced emf due to the induced emf they produce induced current suppose what we have discussed means magnet move to the coil now another uh, case when the coil move to the magnet what is that when the coil move to the magnet what happens means the same effect will be you will get here also if change the polarity of the magnet so here north pole face towards the magnet means uh, the galvanometer shows the right side deflection south pole face to the coil means the galvanometer shows the opposite that means left side deflection so what is the main conclusion means whenever there is relative motion between the magnet and the coil when the magnetic flux link and change the emf is produced due to the emf the induced current is created this is the faraday law of electromagnetic induction by experimental verification already we discussed what is that means electromagnetic induction once again recall that what is electromagnetic induction whenever there is change in magnetic flux there is change in magnetic flux that change in magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit what happen means uh, they produced uh, induced emf due to the induced emf they produce uh, induced current uh, the phenomena producing induced current uh, is known as electromagnetic induction we are discussed uh, experimental verification also